Good afternoon. Hello. I have the following question. Earlier, Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic repeatedly stated that the West would try to exclude Russia from the UN Security Council, referring to the fact that Russia is not the successor of the USSR and also referring to Article 108 of the UN Charter. Please tell me whether the Charter or other UN documents provide for effective mechanisms to exclude someone from the permanent members of the UN Security Council. And if Russia really found itself outside the UN Security Council, how justified would it be in this case to talk about the existence of the UN? How would this affect the entire structure of the UN? I think that here we should start not from the statement of the President of Serbia, but from what the collective West is trying to do in terms of political science. It all reminds me of something primitive. It seems that the people who discuss this topic have not been touched by any political culture, morality, or responsibility. We don't even mention it. There must be an understanding that apart from their primary desires and instincts, there is a civilization. When some people start talking about who and how to be excluded from the UN Security Council, it seems that they are not educated, as if they do not have any profession, and as if they do not understand at all what the UN, the Security Council is, why they were created, and what true significance these structures have. It's about their primitiveness. This is when we characterize a primitive person, one who is outside of civilization. The driving force of such a person is instinct. This person is just beginning to try to get out of the shell of the animal and approach the human image. It's the same here. They say whatever comes to their mind. There is a purpose, that's all. And at the level of instinct, by any means, no matter how stupid and wild it sounds, they begin to move over heads, over corpses, bypassing legal barriers. You understand, the United Nations was created precisely for this purpose. It was not created for beauty, it was created not as a symbol, or rather, as a symbol too, but not as a symbol in the original sense. It was created as a place of conjugation of the positions of countries that are at different poles to be able to find compromises, so that force does not dominate the law, so that law and legality have the opportunity to be realized, for humanity to show its responsibility, maturity in the decisions of this international legal organization. If they start by such methods to exclude someone from the information and political space, if, in fact, they start taking away someone's microphone, or if they simply don't let someone in, then this will no longer be the United Nations, this will not be its Security Council. It will be something else. You understand? This will be something that, both quantitatively and legally, does not apply to the UN at all. In fact, it will have nothing to do with the UN. There are a lot of such formats where the West dominates. There are a huge number of them. There they feel like kings, gods, rulers, exclusive masters of the world. Their companions agree with them, and they give instructions. There are many such organizations. This is NATO. Now it is the European Union. They tried to hold some kind of summit for democracy to replace the role of the UN, 
как они всех готовы and to show how they are ready to divide everyone into stages of proximity or distance from democratic ideals. Then why do they need the UN? If they feel great in all these structures, then we must either leave the UN as it is, or, if they are not comfortable there, not with Russia, but if they are not comfortable obeying the laws and rules of the UN, then what are they doing there? They always want to impose their unhealthy vision of life on everyone as the only correct one. This is a classic of neoliberal dictatorships.